Hi, my name is Fabiana Correa and um, this is my channel Creative Swimwear where I teach how to make different types of bikinis and different techniques that I learned with the years of making bikinis and um, this is the design we are making today it's, uh, it has lycra in it and it's a mix of lycra and crochet. I love working with projects like that because it's, it's much faster and also the lycra dries much faster as well. So, you know, it's different than a full uh, crochet top this is gonna dry much faster and also feels more comfortable on your skin even though I like making crochet, full crochet designs as well I really love making this and mixing different materials so to make this bikini we'll need um, two balls of 100% uh, cotton yarn so I use this one and I used this one, so this one is stretchy, I only have uh, this material on this color, it's called Fixation uh, from Cascade Yarns, it is definitely my favorite, but you can use both on 100% on cotton, I'm gonna share the link to buy this cotton is for apply or to buy the fixation if you want as well down in the description below so what else I use? I'm using okay, lycra um, nylon lycra nylon spandex is 80% nylon and 20% spandex and I'm using this, also this um, polyamide lining. It is a really good lining to make crochet with because it's really soft to punch the holes because you have to punch holes, you know, in that in the material. So. And what else I need? So I need hooks, uh, number seven, zero nine, zero nine five millimeters, and one point six millimeters number one. So this hook, this small one, I'm gonna use to punch the holes through the fabric. Okay, without, cause yeah, with this thick one would be impossible. So you need the thin one, the very thin one. You need uh, thread needles, needle and thread, and you need a safety pin as well. And that's your that's the materials you need. So let's start this project. So to make this top, <coughs> I cut these two layers of lycra and um, polyester, it's uh, like a swimmer lining with this pattern so two layers, put on top of it and cut it I have this <coughs> pattern available on my website under Lennox Bikini and so I stitched on my on my um, sewing machine and but if you want to make this by hand it's all it's possible as well i have another tutorial that i'm gonna put the link um, in the description and it's how to make this stitching it's really easy okay so i stitched this way and now i'm gonna flip Turn this inside out. I 
So I stitched that using the zigzag stitch on number three and the tension of the of my sewing machine is four. I also use the um, walking foot. It's very essential, I think, for us, for sewing lycra in a normal machine. But if you have an overlocker, even better. You can even add elastic inside if you want. Okay, but in this case, you don't really need elastic. You don't, yeah, it's completely doable without it. So that's how it looks like now. Okay, don't worry about this, the bottom part here. I'm, we are just gonna crochet on top of this and it's gonna look like it's closed. Okay, now for this design, we are going to start here, right on top. Here. Um, I'm going to use uh, number 7 or 0 0.595 mil, 0 0.95 mil hook and the reason why is because I need to punch holes through the fabric here and to make it easier we need very fine hook so yarn over on the other side here I'm using cotton for ply yarn can't be too thick yarn, otherwise you can't. It's gonna damage the fabric. So yarn over, pull through, and make your first single crochet with both sides of your yarn. And then the next one, two chains. Put the hook through like this. See like this. And then you know exactly where to punch the hole. Another trick to also make them all have the same height here is you're gonna punch right under. See you have four layers of fabric here. You're gonna punch your hole right underneath it where you have only two layers of fabric. So right under this, the stitched part of your... Okay, I forgot my... So two chains, always two chains in between, okay? And that same hole. Another single crochet. Two chains. And another single crochet. I got to the corner here, made my last single crochet here. Now I'm going to make two chains and another single crochet, another single crochet in that same hole there. And that's gonna bring me to the other side. Two chains again, and then we go to the other side here. Repeat this all the way, all the way around, and when you're here, you make this a last single crochet here, and then I show you how we finish this part of the top. I made um, I made single crochets all around it, and now my last single crochet I put in that same hole from the first one. And now to finish right on this corner here, I'm going to make a double crochet in this first single crochet, like this. So I finished right on the corner there. So now 
I'm going to change to another book. From now on I'm going to use my 1.6 millimeters hook, number one. And from here I'm going to start to work the crochet on the top here so I have a triangle at the end like like this one so it's like a triangle I already made the other side so two chains and um, single crochet here in this in the that double crochet from before one chain and skip this one here one double crochet and another double crochet in this next stitch another the another chain and skip these two here so at the end because here I have one two three four five times two double crochets i'm going to do the same here just spreading them on this space so one double crochet there another one here single crochet another <coughs> double crochet here single crochet and then skip that there and make one two here you can always skip one every time and you'll be fine and on my last one I'm not gonna make the chain here because I'm reducing stitches so it looks like a triangle at the end and I'm going to make the single crochet in these two chains from this corner here and then two double crochets two chains and turn your work okay so my next two double crochets will be in this next chain here because I need to so two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets in the next chain. If you if you made the the bottom already, similar stitch to the bottom. I always like to work the same stitch on the bottom and on the top. So here one more chain two double crochets and another double crochet in this double crochet in this last chain here two double two chains turn your work two double crochets in the next chain and repeat that all you repeat that until you have just one double crochet and two chains at the end here so here two four five rows I have only these two double crochets left in the middle and I'm going to make one two chains turn the work and make a double crochet here in this last chain and cut my yarn so now I have two pieces exactly looking exactly the same from here after you finish these two parts um, start a new chain new chains and i'm gonna make the side here 
So I'm gonna start my chains. The way I start it's really easy. So you have these two, the yarn like this. Do like that. And make a chain. Yarn over, a chain so you have your slip slip knot there. And then one, two. So 30 chains and then I'm going to connect this to the first side of my top. Right here where I have these two chains on the corner, I'm going to make a single crochet. And then one single crochet in the next single crochet. One single crochet here. And then just one single crochet in these two chains and another single crochet here. So keep going with your single crochets all the way to the other side. I need my last single crochet in this next corner here and now I'm making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chains. I'm going to grab my other uh, top part and I'm going to join them together with a single crochet in that next corner there. So single crochet here and then single crochet in the next. Single crochet, single crochet in chain and repeat that all the way to the end. And at the end here I'll make 30 more chains. So made my 30 chains and then now I'm going to make one, two, three more and a double crochet in the fifth chain one, two, from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. And double crochet here. One chain, skip one chain here, one double crochet in the next one. Again one chain, one skip one, one double crochet in the next one. So you are going to repeat this row underneath here, underneath here and all the way to the end here. Made my last double crochet here, now I'm going to skip one stitch, made my chain here and one double crochet here, one chain, skip one. So you're gonna be working on the back of your bikini top. So after this, after I finish this row, I'm gonna be making another row just exactly the same like this one underneath it. Before we go to the next row, Make sure you hit the subscribe button on my channel because that's gonna help a lot for me to keep doing these videos for you guys. And also like my video and leave a comment if you have any issues making this stop. Well, uh, to start the next row, we're going to make one, two, three chains and turn. And now we'll be making one double crochet, each double crochet and one chain in between. So just repeat what you just did before. One double crochet, one chain, double crochet on top of the other double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. And repeat this all the way the other side and when you get here we're gonna make one more so we're gonna make three rows of this same work total so here I finished my third row and I'm going to cut this yarn here
and then I'm going to start on the right side with my red yarn. So this red yarn, it's, I'm using a different one, it's a fixation yarn, this one. It's the same weight of the other one, but it's stretchy. So I'm using this, you can keep using, you know, your normal cotton yarn. So just buy two balls of 50 grams of the other one and you should be fine if you have fixation at home. You can get, you can use fixation on both parts as well. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start here in this first chain here, pull it through on the right side again and make a single crochet here. And then I'm going to make another single crochet here, another one. And so yeah, I'm gonna make, instead of making between these here, I'm going to make two in each hole here. Two in between these double crochets, I'm going to make two single crochets in each one of them. So I'm going to repeat this all around my top until I'm back to the same spot here. And here, right on the side, I'm going to make one single crochet here and then one single crochet in this first single crochet here. Okay, and then one in the one on top of the two chains and one in single crochet in that single crochet. So one single crochet the chains one single crochet here and here in this part we are going to make two single crochets in each row so one in the middle of the row and one on the top there one in the middle one here one in the middle and one here in the middle, one here, and now one, two, as many as you need to cover this last stitch here. So I needed four. And then all the way to the bottom now, all the way to here. So when you get here, make another single crochet here, and skip this one stitch here and make single crochet here, two here. One there. Make single crochets as you feel you need. Sometimes you don't need that many. Okay, two here. And then one more here. And then to connect here on the side, we need just this to be kind of square, like have this shape. So we're gonna make jump these two uh, chains here and make a next single crochet in that single crochet from there and then from here we're gonna work one single crochet each single crochet 
crochet here and one single crochet in between the single crochets like we did before so repeat this all the way around until we reach this part here where you started I made my um, row of single crochets around the entire top and now to make the same finish that I did on my bottom I'm going to start working with the other yarn, both yarns together and so I'm going to do is here I'm going to finish this row here in my last in my first um, single crochet I'm gonna make another single crochet here so I'm right on the corner here and then I'm going to include this other yarn here so the way I do that is I'm going to go here in this second single crochet here yarn over and pull it through and then I'm going to make a single crochet with both colors so we're gonna alternate both colors so put this here on the back and now so now in my hook on my hook I have the beige and so I'm working with the red always the opposite color you have on your hook is the one you are working with next pull here, pull a bit here so I put in my two fingers here this, so this is a bit difficult if you don't want to do it and, and takes a long time if you don't want to do it just make a picot on the last, on your last row with the red or with the beige whatever you prefer it doesn't matter it's just a last row of single crochet one single crochet in each single crochet to finish this bikini as I said this is a bit it's not that easy I don't know if I'll be doing that in other bikinis But it, you know, with the experience, you can make it. Always pull one, the one you're working with. Always pull it. So I have red. I'm working with the beige. Pull the red a bit. Now get the red. Beige. So alternate one single crochet with each color. And that's what it looks like at the end. So you're gonna do this around the entire piece again. And then you can finish your work and we'll be making the straps. So that's what I do. I put one finger each and then I work with the next one. Here and here. Here. Okay repeat all around until you are back here one stitch in every st stitch from the row before so 
here if I'll finish with a slip stitch with the red on the last on my in my first single crochet from before I'll just cut both sides and then with the hook what I do is just I hide them under I just in front few stitches now cut it off. Sometimes I make an extra knot in the back. We also cut this one. I cut this one because I already made a few stitches. On top as well. So I always use the hook and pull my tail through a few stitches. This one already made a few stitches on top of it before. This one as well. So as this one, so I'm just gonna cut them. That's how it looks now. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to cut a few pieces of lycra and I'm going to show you. And I'm going to do the same as this bikini here. That's what I'm doing. So um, I'm gonna cut a few pieces of, of lycra like this one. And, um, and then I'm gonna pull it through here. So I'm gonna cut it and then I'll show to you what I'm doing. So um, I used um, one meter of lycra to cut a piece like that and then what you do you just pull like this okay and then one of the ends you put a safety pin here Let's put a safety pin here so you can grab your top. So, and put here. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna have this lacquer in the, in the first row and in the third row so just go up and down in between the crochet the do your double crochets just up and down up and down so 
so go all the way to the end and then pull it through here and then come back so after you you finish it you adjust how much elasticity you want it to have for me that's enough and then we'll cut here and just stitch with the thread and needle this end together we, I normally make it by hand and um, so the straps I'm making them with lycra as well because my friend she wants to surf with this bikini so just pull it all the way like this if you want you can pull it beads through it too I'm not gonna put beads because she's gonna surf in on her bikini so um, beads normally they get all rusty so I'm just gonna make a little knot in each end so I can put a bead here and it looks really nice as well and now Make sure and get this right in the middle. Here, I decided to do this another way. So what I did is with my lycra here, I pulled it through here, so halfway is up on the top, halfway on the um, down under. So what I'm gonna do here, so I'm just gonna, with one of them, I'm gonna make a knot. And then make sure, uh, make sure that it's twisted the right way so it doesn't, you know, just shows the plain like right there. Like this, and then you can Yeah, that's how it looks like. Okay, so on the back, I also put this here. What did I do? Okay, so put from on the top and then on the bottom here here then just and just so both sides are the same okay so this is the back and this is the front so this is how this bikini looks like at the end okay for the other sizes what changes is the lycra so i normally i add on my patterns um one and a half to two centimeters for each side each size so two centimeters on the medium and then four more for the large and uh, height from here to here you add one centimeter more each um, each size okay and the crochet will be the same because this part here i actually keep the same centimeter same uh, size okay so this is it that's our bikini ready um,
make sure you subscribe to my channel, like my videos, it's very important for me because that way I can keep making more and more bikini designs for you guys to learn. Bye, hope you enjoy it.